chapter 12 of the Discourses of Livy by Niccolo Machiavelli. And this chapter is about the Church of Rome and how it ruined Italy according to him, right? If you are ruler of a republic or a kingdom, you have to keep the practices and the concepts of the religion of that area. Mainly to have control of the state of mind of the population. So it would keep the people devout, obedient, and most of all to keep them united, to keep them as one. And where it got interesting is he kind of made it more or less about the bigger picture than about the actual religion itself, meaning even if you don't believe it, you still will have to do it for lack of a better phrase for the better good. You know? And so he gave two examples on how the Church of Rome ruined Italy. Number one, the Court of Rome which is an ecclesiastical court set bad examples to the people. And he didn't specify what those bad examples were, but I would assume that the religious verdicts that they came up with, it must have made people question the authenticity of it the validity of it and the second thing he said was the church of rome ruined italy is because a republic or a kingdom cannot be happy unless it's under the rule of a single prince or a single republic and he was basically saying that the church was standing in the way of it you know and mind you now, this is an Italian speaking on behalf of Italy. So it is what it is, you know. But that's what I got from that one.